Hi, my name is Davon Carey and I'm 23 years old. I'm the proud father of a beautiful four-year-old girl. My big brother, my three sisters, and I were born and raised right here in Baltimore City. I graduated from Hayeswood Elementary Middle School and went on to graduate from Baltimore City College High School. I love to play sports. I like to read books and magazines. I rap, I write poetry. But since I was about eight or nine years old, I always knew I wanted to be an artist. But I'm learning that in everything, there's a process. Any art is a process. Art is a craft. And what is a craft? A craft is a skill in doing or making something. It is a learning process, but it is your process. You as an aspiring artist can express yourself any way you choose. There is no right or wrong answer to your artwork, your craft. Like dancing or singing or painting pictures, your artwork speaks and delivers a message from you. Skill is also a process when you learn the tricks of the trade, the how-tos. This mural is my greatest accomplishment so far. It's called a mountain, a king, and a starry night. It's big, huh? 10 by 18 feet. We use two large sheets sewn together to create the canvas. It's multimedia, which means I use more than one medium. I use spray paint, acrylic paint, spray stone, spray glitter, appliques, and Gorilla Glue. For my mural, A Mountain, A King, and A Starry Night, I merged two great men that most people don't realize had a lot in common. They were both men who loved God and all of his children. They were both preachers, and they both paid a heavy price for what they believed. Dr. King, as well as Vincent Van Gogh, believed that they were born to be advocates or supporters of the poor. Dr. King fought for civil rights for everybody and was initially rejected by the black church. In fact, they refused to give him a platform to speak, but he fought on, and because of him, racist laws that had crippled the African-American community were eventually removed. Laws that said blacks can't drink from the same water fountain as whites. Laws that said blacks and whites can't eat in the same business establishment. Laws that said black and white people had to be separated. Those laws and many more were changed because of Dr. King. He paid the ultimate price when he was assassinated in April 1968. Vincent Van Gogh was studying to become a priest when he encountered poor people in the congregation where he was serving. He was so taken by their cries for help that he gave the poor people all of his belongings, feeding them, helping them, and offering them hope. When the church found out what he had done, the church revoked or took back their permission for him to preach. This broke Vincent's heart tremendously and he left the church, only to find himself consumed by the passion to paint the world as he saw it. What you paint and how you paint is a reflection of how you really feel. So express yourself and don't hold back because of what someone else may think. But remember, while they're debating, you're creating. And in the end, you will have a painting that shows how you really felt, documented, and on the face of this earth forever.